is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Prime. Hello and welcome. You're watching The Property Show. In our show, we bring you credible investment options in real estate from all the leading cities of India. Our advice is backed by solid research done by our knowledge partner, Lysis for us. And to answer your questions, we have Nemunisa Khan, Head Research and Consultancy South Lysis for us in studio with us. Welcome to the show, Nemun. But before we start answering your questions, let's take a look at what we have for you today. After missing the deadline to notify Real Estate Regulation Act, the Tamil Nadu government is likely to notify the RERA rules by the end of this month. While Haryana is yet to give a deadline for the RERA rules to be notified, the state government has assured to set up a strong regulator that will benefit the home buyers. And as part of our regular focus, we will identify projects from reputed builders in Gurgaon in a crore plus budget. We will evaluate Crossings Republic as a property destination in Ghaziabad and will give you some wonderful housing options. From north, we travel to west of India and find out what's available for a pocket friendly budget of 25 lakhs in Navi Mumbai. Also on our radar will be affordable properties in the emerging suburbs of South Pune. And down south, prime properties in the IT capital of India, Bangalore. After failing to comply with the deadline to set up a realty regulator in the state, the Tamil Nadu government has said that they will notify the rules by the end of this month, Union Minister for Housing Venkaiya Naidu announced this after a review meeting of the urban development and housing project supported by the centre with the state chief minister. Government of Tamil Nadu has prepared draft rules and is in the process of notifying the final rules under Real Estate Act. I am happy about it because the parliament has passed the legislation. Every state need to issue rules. Draft rules published, objections received. Now they have to finally notify the same by the end of this month. I explained to them they have to appoint regulatory authorities, operate tribunals. They are going to appoint the same, they assured me. Otherwise, there will be a difficult problem if there is no operate authority or if there is no tribunal, registration will not be accepted. If there is no registration, no project can start. The real estate covers all projects including ongoing projects and future projects. Let there be no confusion. I am not asking builders to do anything out of the way. What you have promised, fulfill it. What you have promised, the carpet area, show the carpet area. That is the rule number two. Whatever time you have promised, stick on to the time, that's all. If you don't follow, then you will be fined. And if you violate, even that also, you will be jailed. Meanwhile, amid fears that the Haryana RERA rules have been diluted to favour builders, Haryana's finance minister and a key politician of the state, Captain Abhimanyu, assured the home buyers that Haryana government will leave no stone unturned to protect the interests of the home buyers. He also clarified matters related to the payment of VAT by home buyers. Home buyers of Gurgaon have been protesting against the dilution of RERA rules in the state for some time now and the property show has also received complaints against builders charging VAT arbitrarily. There is no reason to worry on this front because government of Haryana is uh, totally committed to the protection of interest of the consumers and flat and plot buyers of the real estate sector. And uh, I can assure on behalf of the government of Haryana that uh, the interest of each and every consumer will be protected fully and completely. So by when can uh, Haryana, uh, by when will we have the permanent regulator in Haryana? I won't be able to comment on that because this is not my department, but uh, we would want it to happen uh, sooner than later. 
so VAT payment has been another area of concern for the home buyers. Uh, what is happening there? You also mentioned about some scheme that uh, is going on. So would you like to clarify on that? Yeah, we have clarified it uh, more than number of times that whatever VAT a developer has paid to the government, to the Excise and Taxation Department as a dealer, that is the maximum VAT that that dealer or the developer can charge from its customers. Anyone charging more than that, any customer can seek his grievances redressal in the due uh, court or wherever in the administrative machinery, wherever it is applicable. But no developer can charge VAT from the customer more than what the developer is liable to pay or what he has actually paid to the government. So how will a home buyer know what exactly is the liability of the developer as far as VAT is concerned? Is there a formula there uh, that the home buyer can access? See, it is uh, as simple as that because going into each and every dealer's accounts I, it would be a difficult thing yes. for us also to uh, do. But broadly, one can check yeah. that if uh, a developer as a dealer has participated in the alternative tax compliance scheme okay. or one-time settlement scheme, then the applicability of VAT on the total value hmm. of the transaction is 1.05%. Okay. Now, since most of the developers have either participated or will probably participate, so it is very easy benchmark to compare and calculate that on the total value, 1.05% is the liability. Okay. But there could be cases wherein the dealers and developers have paid more VAT those who have not participated in the scheme or they have paid earlier. Okay. So in that case, the, the peculiarity can arise, mm -hmm. which again, he can always seek from the developer in, and if the developer doesn't provide, then he can seek the grievance uh, redressal and uh, RERA will be one authority when, uh, which will be working towards the protection of interest of the uh, buyer also. And now it's time to answer your queries and we have our first caller on air. We have Harmeet Ahuja with us. Harmeet, please go ahead and ask your question. Yeah, thank you. Uh, my question is that I am looking for a 3 BHK apartment in Gurgaon from a... Harmeet, can you hear me? My options, yeah, currently my options are IREO Uptown or uh, Supertech Azalia or uh, Central Park Flower Valley. Okay. So, any, anything from this, these three properties or apart from that, can you help me uh, suggest on this? Okay. So, it seems uh, you have increased your uh, preferences as well because when you sent us the email, it was uh, Central Park 1 and 2. But uh, it seems uh, there is an overlap between our recommendation and your preferences. So, I'll let Nemun do the talk. Nemun, uh, as you can see, Harmeet has already done his research and has suggested multiple options. Now, what do you think about the area that he is choosing? Uh, first, we'll have to come down to the micro, micro market. Which micro market do you think is best for him? And also then, what do you think about his preferences? Gee. So, I think the, uh, the kind of budget that he's uh, saying, uh, something around, Gur if, and he's looking uh, with the micro market, which is around Gurgaon. I think um, Golf Course uh, Extension Road will be the perfect market for him. The average price out here is around 11,000 rupees per square foot. And uh, even if you uh, look at the uh, the kind of demand that this area has seen in, in in the in the in the you know in the recent few years, it's been very decent because of the trickling uh, effect, or, or or you could say it's an affordable alternative to the already existing ultra luxury golf course road. So I think this is a market which would uh, perfectly suit your requirement. And uh, as far as the projects is concerned, I think uh, one project which was selected by you, Central Park Two, which I think falls on the Sona Road is also something that you can look into. I think you'd mentioned it in the email. Uh, a smaller 2 BHK maybe uh, would fit your uh, budget in but in this particular market. The average price in uh, uh, Sona Road would also be around the same lines. So I would say that you know there's fundamentally nothing wrong with this project. Also, if you want, you can go ahead with this. 
um, if you look at golf course extension road i think uh, in terms of annual appreciation currently there has been a little distress in the market the annual appreci appreciation has been around negative uh, 1.4 percent uh, so i would say if you are again uh, diving into this market then uh, there are a lot of scope for negotiations so negotiate hard uh, and i would say that uh, uh, if you're looking at resale then you can look at pioneer park project which is in sector 61 again this is not a very old project it's been completed only like a year or two back so you may be able to fetch a good deal for in a resale market for this project and as well as it will also fit your budget and the sizes of 2 bhk out here are very large and uh, like you, I think uh, Eero Uptown is one project that you were asking right now. And this is also a part of our recommendation. I think even this is a fantastic project. It is in Sector 61. It's also available in resale market. Again, uh, you know, a lot of options will be available of a larger size 2 BHK in the kind of budget that you're looking at. So I think we'll give you go ahead with Eero Uptown as well. Okay, so let's quickly take a look at the... Uh uh, the money that you'd have to pay to buy these houses. Uh, in case you don't go for Central Park, then the options that Nemun has suggested uh, out of that first one is Pioneer Park, and the price that you'll have to pay over there is 8,300 rupees per square foot. And in case you opt for a 2 BHK, the unit size you're going to get is 1,400 square feet. The other option that she has suggested is IDO Uptown, and the price there is uh, 8,000 rupees per square foot. And uh, the unit size for a 2 BHK apartment would be 1,421 square feet. So these are the two options she's suggesting to you. Let's go ahead and take our next caller on air. We have uh, Amit Joshi with us right now. Amit, go ahead and ask your question. Uh, sir, I have a question. Actually, I'm looking for a property in the Crossing Republic area. Uh, I have already zeroed down two uh, societies. One is Paramount Symphony and the other is uh, Aragon Gold Villa. So, from the, actually, my, I am looking for this for the settlement purpose. So, I would like to know means how are the future prospects of that area and what is the rate in that area? Uh, what is the name of the Aryanth project that you have uh, zeroed on? Uh, it's the Aragon Gold Villa. Okay. So, uh, we'll just quickly uh, tell you about the area and we have uh, got some recommendations for you as well. I think uh, which again would be uh, uh, sort of overlapping with your preferences but since you didn't send it to us in the email we uh, wouldn't be able to do a full check on that. Um, uh, Nemun, what do you think about that area crossing Republic for uh, you know living purposes and use purposes especially? From um, end user point of view, I would say it, it's pretty decent. The uh, you know the Crossing Republic is a huge township of more than 300 acres, and and uh, it, it's it's a unique combination of township wherein a host of developers like Gorson, Supertech, Paramount, Arihant, they all have come together to develop this township. And uh, right now, I think most of the projects within the townships are uh, delivered. In fact, I think more than 5,000 families are already staying in this area which, which means like you know the critical mass is already uh, developed so in terms of your convenience stores and everything or th the retail would have followed uh, the critical mass so i think in terms of livability this is a decent area to look at look into and even the average price out here is 3293 rupees per square foot so a 3 bhk of your preferred size of around around 1500 square foot would easily fit your budget and would be easily available to you uh, but having said that, I would say that um, if you look at the inventory overhang, uh, there's a huge amount of ready uh, supply in this market. Uh, it, and, and, and that is one of the reasons why you should negotiate hard because there are deep discounts that are available in white deals in the market. So when you look at uh, the projects in the resale, uh, you should negotiate hard and get it yourself a good deal out of this market. Um, the annualized returns out here, on the other hand, it has been around 2% in the past two years owing to the huge inventory overhang. So I would say if you are investing here, keep a decent horizon of at least five to seven years for a good return on your investment. Uh, coming to the projects, uh, we've selected the Royal Cliff uh, by Prateek Group. Uh, Paramount Symphony, um, I think you've already, uh, this has been in, in your list as well by the Paramount Group, even this is a decent project. And then you can also look at Arihant Ambience. 
uh, in fact all these three projects they are uh, available in the resale market and the sizes also are very good in all three of them i think they will suit your requirement so let's quickly take a look at the uh, price that you'll have to pay in these three projects first is royal cliff and uh, here the price is 3368 rupees per square foot and unit size uh, for a 3 bhk apartment is 1633 square feet the second option is paramount symphony and the price here is 3246 rupees per square foot this is an all inclusive price and unit size for a 3 bhk apartment is 1895 square feet the third option that Nemun has suggested is Arihant Ambiance and the price here is 3550 rupees per square foot. This is again an all-inclusive price and uh, unit size for a 3 BHK is 1690 square feet. So these are the three options where you can put in your money. Let's go ahead and take our next caller on air. We have uh, Ayush Singh with us. Ayush, go ahead and ask your question. Yeah, hello. I'm Ayush from New Delhi. I'm looking for a 2 or 3 BHK ready to move flat in Noida Sector 75 or in nearby areas close to proposed metro stations. And my budget is close to 70-75 lakhs. And I've shortlisted a project in Sector 75 which is Tansil Pratishtha. Uh, please let me know if I can go ahead with the project and uh, also suggest some other projects in the same area. Thank you. We will do that. So Ayush, uh uh, likes the sector 75 area. Uh, what do you think about that area and also the Panchil Pratishtha? Certainly. I think, um, see, area wise, Central Noida is still in a developing stage. But I would say that uh, it is slowly graduating towards a mature market with a lot of projects uh, being in the advanced stage and, you know, most likely to get completed by the end of this year or early next year. So there is a certain amount of uh, critical mass that is getting developed in this region. Um, I would say in terms of um, uh, the project also that which he selected, Pranchil Pratiksha, it's a standard mid-segment project. The average price of this location is around 4900 99 rupees per square foot and I think uh, this particular project also is dealing with a, in a price which is in fact lower than the average price on the market so this is a decent deal that you are getting and I don't think there is fundamentally anything wrong with the project so we will definitely give you a go ahead the project is also located on the main sector road itself and it is also uh, I think a kilometer or two away from the under construction metro like you wanted so I think we will definitely ask you to go ahead with your choice and uh, if if you are looking at some other options then we have also recommending you a few more options in the vicinity you can look at magnolia park which is in sector 119 this is also available in the resale market so you may be able to get a good deal in case you are a good bargainer and then there is also apex athena which is also located in sector 75 like you wanted and this project uh, is in the advanced stages of construction and it will most likely get completed by the end of uh, this year or so the construction pace is decent you may also consider this one if you like a uh, 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 buffer for your possession so let's quickly take a look at the prices uh, being offered in these two projects first is magnolia park and the price is ranging from 5000 to 5400 all inclusive uh, per square foot and the uh, Size for a 2 BHK apartment is 1,467 square feet. The other option is Apex Athena and the price here is 5,050 rupees per square foot and unit size for 2 BHK apartment is 1,295 square feet. So before we move on, we would like to remind you in case you're looking to buy any property or need any advice in investment, then do write to us at property at ndtv.com. But please don't forget to leave your full name and contact number so that our team can get in touch with you. Let's go ahead and take our next question, which has been sent as an email to us. Rajesh Mehta says that he wants to invest about 60 lakhs. He is thinking of investing in Pune in NIBM Annex and uh, he is interested in Kingston Atlantis. This is what he uh, likes. This is by Vedanta de uh, Developers. What do you think uh, about that area and what do you think about this project, Nemun? 
the project which he's talking about, Kingston Atlantis, it's uh, located in uh, Mohammedwadi area, like you mentioned. But the, uh, I would say the, the immediate vicinity of the project is very uh, livable. Like that, that you know, the, the, every kind of uh, social and physical infrastructure is already uh, present in this location. So, in terms of uh, uh, the price point that this project is offering and the kind of infrastructure around it, I think we'll definitely give him a go ahead for this project. The average price of this area is around 4,687 rupees per square foot. The annualized returns haven't. Uh, been that high it's been around 0.2 percent in this micro market uh, owing to owing to the you know less availability of um, uh, supply also in this market so I, I think if 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 you're looking at this particular market then keep a long-term horizon because it is seeing a certain amount of uh, you know uh, demand that is trickling because of uh, a saturation from the NIBM NX uh, and and its proximity to Harap sir is also pretty decent so I think keep a long-term horizon and then this micro market will give you good returns in future uh, coming to few more projects, I think um, we've uh, selected uh, um, in the same uh, bracket for you. You can look at Margosa Heights uh, Phase 4. I think uh, this is also an advantage of construction. It might get completed by the end of this year. And then there is also another interesting project, uh, Clevind Park. Uh, this project is in the mid stages of construction. Uh, I would say it, it, looking at the construction phase, it's most likely to get completed by next year or so. But this is very close to the core Orientans Club. So um, uh, this might also be, uh, you know, a good option for you. So closer look at these two projects. First is uh, Margosa Heights Phase Four, and the price you'll have to pay over there is four thousand eight hundred rupees per square foot for a two BHK, which has a unit size of one thousand fifty square feet. The other option that Nemun has suggested is Cleveland Park. And the price you have to pay is 4,500 rupees per square foot for a 2 BHK uh, which has a unit size of 1,095 square feet. So it's time for a short break now. When we come back, we get you prime properties from noted developers in Bangalore.